Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. That's by 45. Welcome back. Hey, we got through a bitterly cold week, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, finally the light at the end of the tunnel is here. Yeah, we're going to start seeing a warm-up. Mm -hmm. uh, warmer today, but it is going to be windy, so that's okay. kind of the trade-off here. Take a look at the forecast through the day today. We're back into the 50s, uh, some around 60 in the southwest, but the wind certainly a factor throughout the day. Uh, sustained wind speeds could be around 20 and 25. Right now, we're in the upper 30s to low 40s. We're at 37 in Stanley. My not, you're at 41, with Bismarck at 39 and Harvey at 39 as well. Southeast winds have kicked up a notch since last night. Uh, 15 to 20, some areas around 10, but we're going to see most of these numbers rise today. Uh, anywhere between 20 and 25. A few wind gusts have been on the map. Uh, 30 and 35 for Hedinger and Dickinson. We'll see numbers all across this map today because those wind speeds are a factor. We've got uh, sustained wind speeds. This is sustained wind speeds. 20 and 25 through the afternoon and more than likely will stay that way until this evening. Now, this is not taking into account the wind gusts. Wind gusts will be as high as a 35 possibly 40 at times so we're looking at a windy day winds will taper a bit but then pick back up again on Saturday temperatures today are back into the 50s around 60 down towards the southwest so we're looking at a warmer day today and so we'll see a decrease in cloud cover for some we'll get a chance at some sunshine uh, even though I do believe a lot of these clouds are still gonna be kind of pesky kind of stubborn we have an isolated chance for some uh, thunderstorms as the system rolls in later tonight into Saturday morning so probably a rainy night, especially for central and southwest North Dakota. Here's tomorrow morning. Most of this wants to be pushing off uh, before noon, and then we have a chance for some sunshine, but of course, you can see these arrows. Uh, we are going to be kind of uh, windy on Saturday as well. Westerly winds, the same as today, gusting to around 30 and 35. We'll also keep kind of a breezy day on Sunday as well. Wind just staying in the forecast. Uh, a chance for in and out cloud cover on Sunday. Highs back into the 50s. But here's the rain potential uh, through Saturday. This is basically tonight through Saturday. We do have the possibility of seeing a half an inch to an inch, and this is all going to be rain. I'm not seeing temperatures falling enough to see snow, but I do see that possibility next week. Now, I have a big question mark here because we are still several days away. This low, by the time that it comes toward kind of towards the central part of the United States could actually track a little further south. That changes everything for us. But nonetheless, at this point, Wednesday, Thursday, we could see a low track to the south behind those really warm temperatures next week and pull in the colder air along with a chance for snow. So that's something that the storm team is tracking in the coming days here. Dickinson, here's your three-day forecast. 50s on Saturday as well as on Sunday. Some sunshine there on Sunday. Williston, around uh, mid-50s for Saturday and around 60 on Sunday. But we continue to to uh, see warmer temperatures. In fact, the overnight lows tonight won't be nearly as frigid, mostly into the 40s. And tomorrow, we're right back into the mid to upper 50s, and we'll start seeing those 60s and 70s next week. Here's the Minot seven-day forecast. You can kind of see where that low is that I just showed you because it brings in the colder air for Wednesday and into Thursday. We could have some highs across the state only in the upper 30s on Thursday. Here's the Bismarck seven-day forecast. The average high, 64 degrees. We'll certainly be close to that a few days in the seven-day, but we'll be certainly well below that heading into the second half of next week. Okay, mm -hmm. well, at least we've already sort of been, uh, you know, conditioned for it. Yeah, yeah. we're kind of ready. I want to know yeah. what Tim's going to say, though. He's calling this bitterly cold. Oh, come on. Come on, it was cold. Just everything I, I, stays don't act like it was not cold. We have to keep track of the words he uses when we're 30 below. Oh, boy. <laughs> if we're doing this, I'm going to be listening to you like a hawk, too. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Well, if you're looking for something to celebrate besides the warmer weather after the bitter cold, yes. let's check out our